Hello everyone, my name is Phạm Quang Huy. I'm from University of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Today I'm going to talk about an integrative machine learning approach for biomarker detection to break with cancer survivability. Let's start it with some challenge in breast cancer. In Canada, each patient have to pay about 12,000 a year for treatment. About 30% of women patients of early stages will develop metastatic breast cancer. But 55% of patients with metastatic breast cancer agree with that the information and support available doesn't meet their needs. Chemotherapy or hormone therapy can reduce the risk of distant metastasis by one third. However, more than 70% of patients receiving this treatment would have survived without it, according to a study in 2002. This evidence said that many treatment, many patients have been mistreated, and it implied that we may need better biomarker for better treatments. Breast cancer and cancer in general is categorized by uh, by the uncontrolled cell growth mainly because the genes that regulate cell growth and differentiation have been mutated. These mutations are maintained through subsequent cell divisions. Then the majority of cells in a tumor may share some common pattern. So the antenna question can help to identify biomarkers of the survivability of patient after a treatment. And this can help to uncover the mechanism of the disease. A gene expression is the relative amount of mRNA expressed in some conditions. In this study, we use the metabolic data published in 2016. The data contains gene expression profile of about 25,000 genes of nearly 2,000 patients. The clinical data is looked like this. For each patient, we have the patient ID, the overall survival month, the vital, vital status, disease status, A, tumor size, tumor state, the pi 50 subtype, the other subtype, and the uh, treatment that patient receive. Then from the data, we would like to learn a classification model to predict if patient become disease free or die before five years, or die after five years. After combination the gene expression and clinical data, we have a new data like this, where each row present a gene expression profile of a patient, and one column for one gene, the last column is the outcome of the treat treatment that the patient received. Is it defined by three uh, clinical information? If the patient is recalled as disease-free, so the class of the patient will be disease-free. If the patient is not disease-free, so we consider if he died because of the disease and the overall survival month is less than 60 months, mean five years, so we 
classify him as die before five years. Or if patient die because of disease, disease free, but he lived longer than five years, so we uh, classify him as uh, die after five years. So we use this data with the label and learn the model to predict. This is the three class classification problem, and this is a new problem because uh, when I search for literature on the internet, uh, I just found the research that the, the author um, would like to classify patient into two class that is die before five year or die after five year, but um, very few cases that they consider uh, disease free as an additional label. Uh, but in reality, many patients can become disease free after a short term of treatment, say one year, two years. So those patients, we can, for those patients, we cannot classify them as die before five years or die after five years because they are become disease free, which is a good outcome. And more important, we want to find a subset of genes that can help to predict the high with high accuracy, and the gene that we selected should convey a bio biological sense for validation uh, for validation purpose we have you support vector machine uh, denoted at svm with linear kernel uh, svm tried to find a hyperplane that can separate uh, two group of sample with the largest margin with the largest margin is it to find the uh, parameter w which is a real value vector and b which is a scalar real value for the function w time x uh, dot x plus b equals zero, where x is a uh, gene uh, expression profile of a patient, and the dot sign here is the dot product between two vectors. And w, the value of w and b can be found by solving the obj the objective function, like the one is shown here. After that, the class of the new sample uh, with gene expression profile X will be determined by the sign of this uh, function, this equation. And then we can apply SVM to multi classes problem with uh, a little bit modification. In detail, our method work as follow. First, we use a filter selection method called recursive filter elimination using SVM to rank the importance of the genes based on their coefficients. And after ranking the genes, we train SVM again and again and the FIFO cost validation scheme using the first five most significant gene, the, the 10 foot gene, and then the 15 foot genes, so on, so on, until the results cannot be improved further. And uh, we obtain about 190 filters for each treatment. 
finally, for biological sense, we analyze the relevance of the selected gene set with the pathway data and with the cancer-related gene data. For pathway data, we collect from uh, we collect the pathway from reactor wiki pathway and cake database. For cancer related gene data, we collect about 8,000 cancer related genes from various public resources, including the TS gene version 2. The table, the chart below show the uh, classification accuracy of the selected genes for the corresponding treatment. And this is, we obtain quite impressive results. That is the, the highest classification accuracy is about uh, 98% for prediction on the patients receive chemotherapy and radiation or therapy but no hormotherapy and the lowest uh, accuracy is for the patient who receive chemotherapy only no hormone therapy, no radiation or therapy, but the accuracy is still as high as 90%. And in terms of biological sense, uh, after analyzing the overlap, and uh, scoring the importance of gene, uh, we analyze the relevance between the set of about 190 genes of each treatment with the pathway data and with the cancer related uh, cancer related data, and we found that about uh, 15 to 26 genes are uh, cancer related gene account for 10% for treatment and about uh, 55 to 65 other gene are uh, cancer related genes uh, account for 30% and there are 32 genes for all treatment associated with at least a pathway and the list of uh, genes that associate with pathway is list, uh, are listed here, listed here. For example, the uh, EGFR involved in the pathway uh, inhibition of signaling of uh, overexpress uh, EGFR, signaling by overexpress uh, y type EGFR in cancer. Uh, PLCG, uh, PLCG1 events in uh, EIBB2 satellite. Other gene uh, PGR involved in the pathway nuclear satellite by uh, EIBB4. So, for conclusion, we uh, would like to say that. The result that I that I just show you uh, review that our method can select a set of gene that can be a potential potential biomarkers of survival survivability in breast cancer. However, to become a true biomarker, uh, we need to do uh, further biological validation. In that. And in the future work, we would like to modify our approach 
so that it can find the biomarkers with fewer gene for the treatment. And we uh, integrate uh, gene expression data with other types of data. Uh, for example, gene uh, protein protein interaction data or mutation data to find more meaningful biomarkers. And uh, we will uh, compare our results with other methods. Thank you very much for listening.